Top story is brought to you by Bond Financial Services. Your success, our passion. Belacra Mineral Water, the new generation mineral water. That's my joy. Online.com. Former Vice President Ahaj Alu Mahama could soon be moved from the Kolibu Teaching Hospital for treatment in either the UK or Germany. This is according to CEO of the hospital, Professor Ni Otunate, who a while ago denied reports the ex VIP was dead. Aliu Mahama has been battling a critical condition while on life support at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. He has been on admission at the cardio uh, center since last week. The CEO spoke to Joy News a while ago. Let me inform Ghanaians that the former vice president is well and on admission at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. Although he's been here for some time, uh, his condition is critical. And our doctors, a team of doctors from various units of the hospital are working on him and we hope, we are sure he'll pull through this current situation. All right, so exactly when was the last time you checked on him? You know, because we, we are getting the information from close family sources. Exactly when was the last time you checked on him? I was in the ward about five minutes ago, and I saw him. He's alive. Uh, there, is no, there is no truth to what you hear on the media currently. If his condition is critical, what exactly is his con what, what, what is wrong with him? What is wrong with him? Well, I, I will leave it at uh, that uh, point. Uh, I don't, we will not devote um, mm -hmm. our patient condition to the public. Uh, that is between the doctors and the, the family. Okay, um, if someone is on life support, what does it mean? Um, being on life support means you, um, we, it, it's, it's, it's a, a situation which is uh, a bit difficult to explain, but we have equipment that can keep you um, breathing and when your body takes over, then um, we, we take the um, the equipment off but yes um, we can we have the equipment that supports an individual when who has had uh, who is critically ill and uh, that is what we are doing so it means that uh, his, he has breathing problem at the moment yes he has breathing problem and that is being taken care of um, why would someone want to rumor that uh, the former vice president is dead when he is not dead that, that's why I'm, I'm very surprised at that because uh, I, don't, I don't expect anyone to go out with such a rumor. Uh, but you know, in Ghana, um, a lot of these rumors have gone around before, and this is why I'm here with you so that I will inform all Ghanaians that uh, the former vice president is still alive, and we are working very hard to make sure that we get over this difficult stage. On the uh, medical issues that uh, basically come up as we talk about uh, this developing story regarding the former Vice President Tahaja Luma. I'm joined by somebody who understands these issues quite deeply. Dr. Arthur Kennedy is a former hospital administrator, administrator and uh, now a lecturer at the Cape Coast University uh, Medical School. Uh, thank you very much sir, for your time here on Top Story. We've heard a number of medical terms used today. Uh, he's on life support. Uh, we've also been told that he's critically ill. Uh, etc. Uh, with your experience, what do we mean when we are talking about all these terms? Um, good evening to your listeners. I think that the doctor on the line explained um, life support quite well. Hmm. Um, I think that there are two levels here. You can actually be critically without necessarily being on life support. And if um, you get to the hospital and um, you think that you are very sick, you know, Maybe you have a pneumonia, you have a heart attack, 
you have congestive heart failure or any very significant condition, we might decide that you need a little more monitoring than you get on a routine ward and we we'll put you in critical care, which means that um, you have more nursing attention, the doctors see you more often and your situation needs to be monitored a little more aggressively. Mm. So in that case, you will be on a critical care unit. And elsewhere, we might divide that into general critical care and cardiac care units in places like here, maybe it's possible that they have it combined. So mm. that is critical care. Then when we say you're on life support, is what you said, mm. that you have a machine breathing for you. Uh, this brings to mind, Radley, uh, the case of Pope John Paul uh, when he was on life support for a long time. Many said he was brain dead, etc. Normally, how long does it take? Forever? Sometimes can go on for, for months, indeed. Um, it depends on the situation. There are people who um, get into extremists and they are on life support for a short time. And after they are stabilized, their body is able to take over the breathing and in that case they are weaned off the machine um, that is breathing for them and then they can go in and make a full recovery. Um, there are of course situations where um, people are maintained on life support and the chances of coming back are very slim. You know that as a former Israeli Prime Minister who got on life support years ago and I still haven't heard that it discontinued the life support sometimes. Um, people are kept on life support for religious reasons or sometimes maybe part of the family is not available or sometimes um, you need more discussions to determine whether it has gotten to where um, the efforts to bring the person back has become futile. But sometimes people can be on life support for some time and recover. Mm. And I don't know what particular situation we are dealing with in this circumstance. Who makes that final decision? You said that uh, you cited an example of the former Israeli uh, executive. Basically, uh, doctors will know at a point whether it's possible for a rebound or not. Um, generally, um, depending upon where you are, the laws regarding this are different. Mm. Um, for example, in the US where I'm used to practicing, what happens is that um, the doctors will make the decision um, in collaboration with the family. And normally, um, most people would nominate um, somebody who will be, have their power of attorney to act on their behalf when they are not able to act on their own behalf. So decisions like getting on life support or even getting what they call cardiac resuscitation will be made some, by some people in advance, or if they cannot make it, it will be made by their power of attorney. Right. And in this case, it might be somebody who has already been nominated, or if nobody has been nominated, it will first be the spouse. In the absence of the spouse, it will be parents if they are available, and in the absence of that, it will be siblings. And then it will go on to the find a relative. Otherwise, there are, of course, situations in which the hospital or the doctor might step in. Remember the Chicago case in the United States, where um, the hospital wanted to pull the plug and the um, husband um, didn't agree, so he went to court. So depending upon the jurisdiction, a different person might make the decision. Mm. In this case, we are talking about uh, a statesman, the former uh, vice president. There's a question about information management here, uh, indeed, because of a stature in society. What's your, what, what is your experience when it comes to dealing with a situation like this where everybody's keen to know what's happening? Well, um, it varies from situation to situation. You know, um, for example, you know, when John Kennedy was shot in Dallas, you know, yeah, it was very difficult to manage the situation. It was the information was dribbling out, and it was out within a few hours. These days in the U.S., they've gotten to where people get information very quickly. And even talking about Ghana, you look at how uh, right now um, he is not holding any state office. So I think that then the privacy of the family becomes even more important. Thank you very much, Dr. Fa Kennedy, former hospital administrator. Uh, he is now uh, a medical uh, lecturer at the University of Cape Coast. Now, we'll be going live 
uh, to the Kolebo Teaching Hospital because our reporters are standing by. Uh, we'll be speaking to Manasseh Azori, who is there for us tonight, monitoring what is happening. That's all family members are there as well, uh, keeping a close eye on uh, the former vice president's condition. This is Top Story. My name is Evans Minsa. We're following this very closely. Uh, shortly we'll return. We'll try and go uh, live to the Kolebo Teaching Hospital, bring you a quick update uh, from that hospital as far as uh, the condition of the former vice president is concerned. Stay with us. It's so live here on Top Story on Joy 99.7 FM, also live from the Motu TV studios. Uh, we're trying to reach our reporters who are at the Kodibu Teaching Hospital now to get a quick update from there. Uh, we are not getting them yet, and, but you want to stay with us uh, in 15 minutes on news now. We'll bring you uh, that aspect of the story. We'll be speaking to uh, family members uh, from uh, the Kodibu Teaching Hospital. We're told that a number of them are there uh, closely monitoring the situation. But my name is Evans Mensah. More on this shortly. Also, news at 8 here on Multi TV. You want to stay tuned. Uh, we'll give you all the angles as far as the story is concerned. Top story is brought to you by Bond Financial Services, your success of fashion, Belaco Mineral Water, the new generation mineral water, as well as my joy, online.com.